Hello everyone, here is another video with OrgTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can convert Lewis structure to condense and a skeletal structure. For the first example, I would like to discuss about butane C4H10. This structure called Kekule, but you may also see Lewis instead of Kekule sometimes. The difference between Kekule and Lewis is how we show the bonds. In Kekule, we show bonds by line, but in Lewis structure, instead of lines, we use electron pair to show bonds. But it's very common to use Kekule or Lewis, both of them for this structure. In addition of Lewis, we also call this structure bond line structure as well. As you can see here, the structure for butane occupy too much space and it time consuming for drawing the structure. And this structure is very small in organic chemistry. So we are not able to draw the big molecule by this way. And we would like to have some easier way to showing the molecule. So the first method for simplifying the Lewis structure or Kekule structure is drawing the molecule in condensed form. To derive the condensed structure for molecule, we are going to take a look to each carbon in the molecule and write its formula. So this carbon and three hydrogen formula, it is CH3. Then the next carbon formula is CH2. Then CH2 and the last one again is CH3. Instead of condensed structure, we may want to use a skeletal structure. In a skeletal structure, we don't show carbon and we don't show also CH bond. This is how we draw the structure for butane in a skeletal. So we have four carbon and we draw the molecule like this. In a skeletal structure, each intersection is a carbon. Also the ending point on each line, it's carbon as well. And we don't show hydrogen, but we know how many hydrogen do we have on each carbon. Carbon always should have four bonds. So if this carbon here, you can see only two bonds, the right and left bond, then it means this carbon should have two more bonds that we didn't show them. So they are CH. Let's have more example. Here is a second example. Again, we have CH3. Then we have CH2. Then we have CH. And on this CH, we also have a branch. This branch, it is CH3. When we have substituent or branch, we have to show them inside the parentheses. And after that, we have OH. In condensed structure, the lone pairs normally are omitted. And we also have to show hydrogen, but we don't show the bond. So we write OH. It's very rare to see the lone pair in condensed structure. To convert this structure to a skeletal structure, we take a look to the longest chain in molecule. We have three carbon and we have one oxygen. Again, in a zigzag form. And the last group, instead of carbon, I put OH. So I have three carbon here. The first carbon is CH3 because you can see only one line here for this carbon. So it's supposed to have three more bonds. The second one is CH2, the third one is CH, and the CH, it has a CH3. So that CH3 or that branch, we show it in this form as well. So these are the condens and a skeletal structure for this example. Here is a third example, again, CH3, 
then CH2. Then the next carbon, it is C double bond O, it is called carbonyl group. We show carbonyl group in this form, CO. Then the next carbon is CH. And then we have double bond, but we don't show. And this carbon, it has one methyl as a substituent and another methyl in the chain. And because these two groups, they are the same, we can write it in this form as well. CH3 times 2. Writing in this form, it doesn't mean both of these CH3 are branches. One of them is branch, another one is belong to the chain. For drawing the skeletal structure, we take a look to the chain. We have six carbon, so we can show six carbon by zigzag line in this form. The third carbon is carbonyl group, and we show it here. When we draw the zigzag form, if we have group on this carbon on top, we draw the substituent or group toward up. And if it's down, we should draw the line at the bottom. So we cannot draw the structure in this form. That's wrong. Then the fourth carbon and the fifth carbon, they have double bond. And also we have a CH3 here as well. So these are the condensed and skeletal structure for this molecule. Here is the next example. We have a cyclic compound. And we do the same thing. It doesn't matter if it's linear or cyclic structure. We have CH2, CH2, CH2. So I show it in this way. CH2, CH2, CH2. The next one is CH. So CH. And the next one is just carbon. And we have double bond here. After that, on this carbon, we have CH2, then we have oxygen, again CH2, and the last carbon, it has three chlorine, so CCl3. And for drawing the skeletal structure, for this pentagon, or this cyclic part, we just draw a pentagon. And we put a double bond here. Each intersection again shows a carbon. Then for here we have carbon, oxygen, carbon, carbon. So I can show it in this way. Carbon, then oxygen, then carbon, then carbon. And on this carbon we have three chlorine. So these are Condense and a skeletal structure for this example. In the second part of this video, I would like to have some example for conversion of condense structure to a skeletal structure and vice versa. For this example, we see one carbon, two carbon, three, four, and five carbon. But this CO2 group, it is always in this form. So the structure actually it is in this form. So we need one, two, three, four, five, and six atom. And from the left side, the fourth one is oxygen. So one, two, three, and the fourth one is oxygen, and then fifth and the sixth one. On carbon two, we have two methyl group. And our carbon three, we have double bond O. So carbon three is here from left side. So we have double bond O. And for showing these two CH3, we don't show it in this form. It is wrong. Because this carbon atom, it is in top, we need to show both of this group on top. 
showing this ch3 up or down it doesn't mean any orientation in 3d structure we just show two methyl group attached to that carbon let's see another example here's the next example the first atom it is ch2 so carbon has two hydrogen and then attached to the next carbon but we know carbon should have four bonds so if I derive this structure in this form, let's show one hydrogen here, one hydrogen here, then this carbon attached to a CH. Then this carbon has only three bond. So this carbon, it should be double bond. So when it's double bond, we don't show it in condensed structure most of the time. And we can understand existing a double bond by paying attention to the number of bonds for each carbon. And then we have CH2 times 3. This doesn't mean the CH2 are branches on CH. It means 3 of CH2 we have in our chain. And to simplify and writing in a smaller form, we show it in this way. CH2 times 3. Then we have CO. CO is a carbonyl group, then NH, and then CH3. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 atoms in our chain. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, The seventh is nitrogen, and then 8. So the first and second atom they have double bond then we have 3 ch2 it doesn't have any branches after 3 ch2 the carbon has double bond o so we put it here then nitrogen has hydrogen and is attached to a ch3 which you can see it here that ch3 so this is the skeletal structure for this molecule Here is the next example. The first carbon atom here, it has only two atoms on the left and right side. So on the left side, it has hydrogen. So this carbon attached to hydrogen. And on the right side, it has only carbon. So this carbon has only two bonds. It should have two more bonds. So this carbon, it is triple bond actually. Then we have a CH2. The next one is CHCl. We may show Cl inside the parentheses or we may not. Always Cl or other halogen, they belong to the left carbon when we write it in this form. So we have CH, Cl, then we have CH2. And this way, when we write CHO, this HO, it is not OH. The OH always is right in this form. The CHO in this form is this group. C double bond OH is an aldehyde group in the molecule. So the aldehyde group it always shows in this way. So let's draw the skeletal structure for this molecule. And here for drawing the skeletal structure, we need to pay attention that the triple bond here, this carbon hybridization is sp, and the bond angle is 180. So we don't show the triple bond in zigzag form because it is linear structure. So the first atom, it's a triple bond. So this is the first carbon. This is the second one. For third one, we cannot derive it in this form because this is not true. We have to derive it in linear form and after that, we can derive the zigzag structure. So the third one is CH2, as you can see it here. After that, we have CHCl, then CH2, and then COH. So we may write a structure in this form and then we don't write the hydrogen. Let's have some example for conversion of a skeletal structure to condensed structure. 
Here is the first example. I would like to convert this skeletal structure to condensed structure. So we need to identify each carbon has how many hydrogen. Always the ending carbon, they are CH3. They have only one bond as you see here. Like this carbon has only one bond. So it should have three hydrogen. So this carbon is CH3. Then the next carbon, the second one, it has two bond on the left and right side. So it should have two more bond that we didn't write them because they are hydrogen. So the second carbon is CH2. Then the third carbon, it has three bond, left, right, and down. So this is CH. And it has also one branch CH3 here. So we put CH3 inside the parentheses. Then we have COO that we show it in CO2. Then this carbon again, we can see only two bond. So it is CH2. And the last carbon, we only see one bond for this carbon. So it is CH3. Here is another structure. Again, the first carbon here, it is CH3. The second carbon here is CH, it has three bond. And this CH also has one OH. Then the next two carbons, they are CH2. Each of them, they have only two bond in this structure. So CH2, CH2, or we can write it CH2 times two. After that, we have nitrogen, and this nitrogen has a CH3. After nitrogen, we have another CH2, and at the end, we have CO2, then H, and we write it in this form, CO2H. And here is the last example. This carbon here, we can see two bond for it. So it is CH2. The next carbon, it has three bond. So the fourth bond should be hydrogen. So it has one hydrogen. Then the next carbon, you can see three bond for it. So we have only one more bond. So it is CH again. And there is a fluorine on this carbon. The next one is CH2. Then we have a carbon here, it is CH. And on this CH, we have a group with two carbon. So inside the parentheses, CH2, CH3. Then at the very end, we have CO and then NH2, CO, NH2. Thank you for watching this video. You may want to subscribe to this channel for watching more videos.